What's up, everyone? Literally just got back, saw Maleficent 2, Mistress of Evil, starring Angelina Jolie, uh, Ellie Fanning, Michelle Pfeiffer, and I don't know any of the guys in this movie. Um, so there's, there's that. So it's about just short of two hours. It's basically a two-hour movie. Um, just came out this weekend, so... This is a sequel, it's part two. Uh, first one came out probably five years, two years ago. Um, sounds about right, 2014. Um, so yeah, if for me, honestly, um, when it comes to Sleeping Beauty, the whole Aurora story, I've actually never seen the cartoon version of this. Uh, I've never read any of the fairy tales of the Disney princesses, period. So. This is literally coming from, I've seen the first Maleficent and now I've seen the second one. And just to kind of go into it, like for me, this one, um, I felt like it was pretty predictable. Um, yeah, there, there's to me, there's no real surprises in this movie, um, realistically. I think once the movie kind of starts, you know exactly what direction it's heading, you know exactly who's gonna play what role, um, it's, it, even from the trailers kind of like, it's pretty black and white in my opinion with everything, the way this movie's all kind of laid out. Um, so don't go into this movie expecting some deep story cause it's not there. Uh, so I will give props to Angelina Jolie. Um, I don't know the last movie I've seen with her. I feel like it's kind of been a while. And she just comes back swinging. Um, like, I thought she did a phenomenal job. She creates this character so well. Uh, it's hard to, like, if there ever was a reboot, it's going to be hard to imagine somebody else in this role. I, I think she just absolutely crushes this role. Uh, outside of her, though, everybody else is kind of... Um, I didn't feel as connected to anybody else. Um, I felt like they did a little bit better execution on that in the first movie. Um, this one is kind of like everybody else is just supporting characters, which I guess technically they are. Um, but it's just like, uh, actually like outside of Prince Philip, uh, I don't know if I even know any of the other characters. Like it's that just disconnected between me and the characters that I can't even remember their on screen, uh, names either. Um, but so yeah, it, to me, it just wasn't very deep. It, it's just a kind of a Disney sequel, <laughs> in my opinion. So it's kind of just you come in, kind of shut down, watch watch a movie about a Disney princess, another story of, you know, her life, another chapter in her book. So um, I, I do, this isn't going to spoil anything. Don't worry. I am going to comment, though, on it because... I just want you to enjoy the moment when it happens. There is a pipe organ and I, I'm i not gonna try and bash anybody's writing or anything like that, but this scene has got to be one of the most pointless scenes I've ever seen in a movie. I can't even I'm not going to give anything away outside of when you see a pipe organ, get ready to be mind blown on how pointless of a scene it is. And like, I don't know what they were trying to do with this scene. Like, I, I don't know if it was to create more of a dramatic effect, um, which I didn't get from it. Um, it, it just absolutely the whole thing, like even looking back at it now, it's just kind of like, I can't understand why, this was in the movie, not not even one. I have more questions because of this scene than what this scene gave me. So just be, get ready. When you see a pipe organ, get ready to be like, what was that for? Because I'm still saying that. And if you agree with me, I would love to hear your comments on that. Or if you like, if you love this scene, please explain to me why you did. And let's get this thing figured out because <laughs> I, I'm struggling with this scene for sure. Now, 
Um, outside of that, it's it visually, I mean, it's, it's a really cool. I mean, I thought they did a good job in the first one anyways. And so, uh, they bring it all back, uh, coming off. I just saw Gemini man, um, last weekend. And, uh, I will say this actually like is again, we're, we're getting close with all our CGI and the green screens and that kind of stuff. Um, we're not quite there yet. You know, when you see the, you know, these fairies and things like that up close and personal, like, uh, I mean, it just, yeah, it, 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 we're not fully there where it's just like, okay, this is real, you know, um, which, it, which is fine. Um, it's not going to take away from anything. I'm just being critical about it. Uh, so can't dock them for that. You know, it, it's, we're definitely moving in the right direction with all this stuff and I'm excited to see where it's all going to go. Um, I, I think this movie is not as dark as the first one. So uh, if kids and things like that were all fine with the first movie, they're definitely going to be fine with this one. It's, uh, t to me, it's a definitely a family friendly movie and that kind of stuff. It, it portrays all that and everything. And, um, even the story of Maleficent is kind of like family based or whatever, like the story of sleeping beauty, at least in these versions, I, like I said, I've never seen the cartoon, so I can't speak on that, um, is all family based or whatever. And so I, they keep that going in this movie as well. So I do think if you have kids interested in it, um, it's a cool movie to go check out for sure. Um, outside of that, yeah, if you get past, you know, the very predictable story, the stupid pipe organ scene, and some of the questionable uh, uh, CGI just stuff, I, I overall, I mean, it was an enjoyable movie. Um, for me, though, like, I'm just not fully connected with the characters and things like that in the story. I mean, I got to rank it probably a three out of five um, just because of those reasons more. I like a little bit more depth in the story and um, outside of Angelina, I mean, like I, I almost feel like everybody else is just kind of replaceable story wise, you know? And, um, and so that's kind of just my quick out view or out. I was going to say outtake, but then it turned out view it's just my quick opinion um, and review on Maleficent 2, uh, you know, which I think I've been saying her name wrong this whole time in my life. I've been saying her name as Maleficent instead of pronouncing the E more like an E. Um, I might be the only one who ever did that. If I'm not, thank goodness. Uh, I'm using this video as a confessional now and it's going to be out there so the whole world can hear this. All right, guys and gals, it's that time. Hit the comments below. Let me know what you thought about the movie. Let's see if it matches up with my opinions. Um, let's see if it doesn't match up. I'm excited to read them. If you like this video, hit the like button. And also be sure to subscribe. That way you can stay up to date uh, with my future movie reviews. So until next time.